What is up guys? This was supposed to be an episode of Sunday Speed Art, but I'm late, so it's an episode of Monday Speed Art. Monday Speed Art. But from now on, I will actually try to make art-related videos every Sunday. Like, actually try. Before I get a hundred comments telling me, please make a channel art for my channel, I'm gonna tell you I do not take requests, but I do take commissions. I'm a professional artist with education and experience in the area and I do not give out my work for free but I am quite cheap at the moment because I am just starting my career. Now this here is a commission from that one Michael who asked me to make a channel art and a profile picture for him so this is it. You can at any time go down into the description and skip to any parts of the video depending on what you want to see. First I'll be drawing the tanks, then I'll be coloring the tanks, then I'll be drawing the background, coloring the background, and in the end I'll be drawing Michael's features for his profile picture. And now it's time to get down to business. This here is a collage that I slapped together really quickly. Um, it's nothing special, it's got no effects, it's got no attention to angles or composition. Well, actually, composition is very important here. I'll talk about it in a second. Um, it's just a screenshot of Rio with a couple tanks from Tank Viewer put here, a quick gun flare, and that is it. That is all I need for the basic collage on top of which I will be drawing. But if you look carefully, it's very intricately planned because here, this is a template of a YouTube cover. And it's very important because this full thing will be seen on TVs. I don't know how many people use TVs. I know I don't, but I'm sure lots of people use TVs to watch YouTube. And then you see the entire channel art on here. It's huge. So this covers um, my entire collage. You will see it doesn't look so boring on the final output. But at the same time, all the important things fit within this little area which is the main area, which you can see on phones, which means all the important information needs to be within that tiny box. So as you see here, the little tank and the big tank, at least the top part, the more important part, the wolf face of the thunder, um, they're both inside the little area. And on top of that, as you can see the social icons down here in the corner, they will appear right on top of the thunder. Um, for a little bit of wider screens, they won't appear right on the thunder, they'll appear behind it. Um, and you also see the background, you see the statue up there on the hill, you also see the tower, you see all the important elements on this tiny image. Um, for wider screens, you will see a little bit more to the side, and on huge screens, you will see the whole composition. So it's a very planned process, even though it's quite simple. So now let's get to drawing.
Okay, now that we finished that, it's time to get to drawing Michael's face. Now, the very first important step when you're trying to make a cartoon of someone is to draw the correct shape of their head. If you've seen Michael's channel art, some other artists drew a comic version of him, but it doesn't look anything like him. And the first mistake is that his head on the comic is the shape of a pear. And not a pear, a light bulb, sorry. It's big on the top and small on the bottom. And as you can see, that is not at all how Michael's head is shaped. His shape... His head is square, kind of like mine, and it's a little bit wider on the inside, so it's more like hexagonal, and that's very important. And then we'll draw the hair and the ears and all the other features. They're not as important as the shape of the head. Cross-eyed. We can try a different style of eyes. We'll see the final outcome. We'll see what looks best. Um, we can compare the two pictures. I like these eyes, but they, they're too big and too something. They don't, they don't look like Michael, so we got to change them. Chinese eyes. Okay, well, this looks more like what I'm imagining. More of his shape of eyes. His eyes are pretty standard shape, so there's n not much imagination going in there. Um, let's do some basic coloring. Try to match the color of his hair. It's kind of dark brown, but it's got little blonde spots on the top, so we're going to be adding those too like kind of streaks i'm not sure if they're fake or real that's just the color of his hair um as you see the white of his eyes isn't actually white it's gray because it's never white if you make it white it looks kind of fake unless that's the effect you're going for there go the blonde streaks and then we'll add some dark streaks on the bottom because as you can see his hair is darker on the bottom than it is on the top and that also adds some texture into the hair it's important because this is a flat style of cartoon with no um there'll be a little bit of shadows and lights in the end but there are no gradients so you have to make it a little bit more interesting by adding some kind of texture. Um, I tried drawing the lips, but they didn't exactly come out the way I wanted. So maybe we'll play around with that later. But for now, it's gone. Time to draw the rest of his body. His shirt is pretty simple, but it is important because it accentuates his face. Um, not much to say here. Just watch me draw. Yeah, awesome. Yo. As you can see, the thick lines are meant for the contours where they're actual borders. And for little areas which aren't borders, like lines on the shirt, I use little dotted areas, uh, dotted lines, because they make it more clear what's an actual line and what is not an actual line. Color it with blue. I tried to move the eyes a little bit. Uh, didn't work so well. I moved them back to the original position. I like the way this is turning out. Time to add some lighting. I want this to be some kind of really dramatic light. So I'm putting red on one side and blue on the other side, which are opposite colors. They complement each other while adding contrast to the image. So you can kind of pretend that there's a red light behind him on one side and a blue light behind him on the other side. And that gives his face shape. It's not just dramatic lighting. It gives shape because I'm accentuating his cheekbones and his chin. And later I will put shadows and lights on his nose. And that will give his face more shape than just... The flat object that we were drawing. I'll also be putting shadow on the shirt. Um, yeah, I put some shadow under the eyes so you can see that there's depth. It's really important to give depth to this flat style of art so that you can see which part of the face are protruding, protruding and where there are um, coves for the eyes or whatnot. Um, I need to put some shadow under the chin because that's naturally where the shadow would be. And on the shirt, of course, this all adds depth. And that's what makes the image look Cool. Finally, I need to do the line art, which means I'm coloring the lines so they're not pitch black. And then when I blend them in with the black, they are darker, but not nearly as boom. I do the same to the face, but I also, I leave the eyes black so they pop. That is a cool face. You can play around with it. Now that you've finished the main part of the head, you can add whatever you want. You can change the eyes, you can change the face, you can give him any expression. You can make him more cartoony, you can make him less cartoony or more realistic. You're really free to go as you want. Mustache, beard, smirk on his face, color his eyes, do anything you want. It's really fun. But the best of all is my final troll face. Uh, nah, yeah. Not much of a troll face. That makes him make him look to the other side and cool mouth and beard. And yeah, that for you is the real that one, Michael. 
Well, thanks guys for watching. I hope it was entertaining. If you like to give it a like. If you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel because I do weird and cool stuff all the time. I mean, I will be doing weird and cool stuff all the time. Don't call me out on that. I know I'm a big liar. And uh, see you around. Cheers.